Okay everybody, welcome to Learn with Minecraft Education and we're going to be looking at some very basic uh, things that you can do in Minecraft Education that you cannot do in the regular version of Minecraft. So we're going to click on play, go to create new, click on new, let's change a few of these settings, let's change this to creative, the uh, game mode, let's change the permission level to operator and let's go world type flat. Uh, it's not essential that we have a world type flat. Uh, but it just helps uh, keep distractions down and we'll click on play to get this started. So today we're going to be looking at the camera and we're going to be looking at the book and quill and how students can use those two things uh, to get work submitted uh, to their teachers and how teachers can use them as well to demonstrate work back to their students uh, online. Okay, so let's press E to load up our inventory. Now we've got all of our different categories of items here. Uh, but the quickest way, if we know what we're looking for, is to go to the search tab here, click on the search bar, and we are going for the camera today. So here's the camera. We'll drag that down into our first inventory slot, number one, press escape. And by default, that will automatically be selected. But if we select a different number, as you can see, we get a different inventory slot. So that's the numbers on your keyboard there. Obviously, we do want number one. And the first thing we want to learn how to do is to take a picture with the camera. So let's ho head over to something a bit more interesting, like this sheep over here. And we're going to hold right click and let go to take that picture. And uh, we can do a few things with that later on. Uh, the other thing we can do with the camera is we can aim down at the floor down here and right click to place that camera down. And then we're gonna do one quick right click to take a selfie with that. So it smokes, it flashes. And then there we are, we've got a selfie. And then the camera will disappear after that, but this is creative mode, so we've still got one in our first inventory slot. Now, we wanna do some things with those pictures that we've taken, we wanna see how we can use them. So this is where the book and quill comes in. So again, we're gonna press E to go back to our inventory, delete camera from there, and type in book. And there we go, the only book, space bar, quill dragging it across into the second item slot. Escape to go back, and uh, as I said before, number two to get over to our second inventory slot. Now we've got our book here, so what we want to do is right click, and we're gonna start being able to enter some things into this book, so, um, you know, learning about the book and Quill, for example. And then in the second page if we want to, we can Click this here, this icon. This icon here is gonna let us choose some pictures to add. Now this is the one that we took with the camera and this is the selfie we took with the other camera that we put down. So let's add in that one, looks quite good. And just because this is a demonstration, we'll just uh, look at how to sign this book off and give it a name. So enter book title here. Let's call it book and quill again. There we go. And sign and close. Note, when you sign the book, it will no longer be editable. That's fine. So the icon of the book and quill is now changed to this kind of glowing purple book. And if we right click again, it now gives us the option, not just to look at the book, but to export it, which is the important part here. And you, and you want to encourage your students to do this as much as possible. So we're going to call it book and quill. No need to add the name on the end. It's going to export to our desktop, like so. Do you want to replace it? No, I've already got one on there that I want to show you guys. So it'll export to the desktop and it'll look something like this. It's a PDF that your students can attach when I'm learning about the book and quill. And there's a different uh, PDF page for each page of the book and for the front cover of the title as well. So obviously your uh, students can attach those, send them off, and you as a teacher could potentially use them as well uh, to send out work uh, to your students. Okay, so just a couple of, couple of little interesting things you can do there in Minecraft education. Plenty more videos to come on some of the more advanced features. Thanks for tuning in.